Welcome to this video. In our previous video, we have started modeling of hot forging of a workpiece. In this video, we are going to continue the modeling by adding loads and choosing appropriate mesh for this problem. In load module, at first we apply symmetric boundary condition to the bottom face of the billet. As we considered symmetry in this plane and modeled only one quarter of the billet cross section, we should apply symmetric boundary condition to this plane. Please notice that for applying symmetric boundary condition for thermal analysis, flux should be zero at this surface. The flux is already zero and we don't need to any new definition. In the next step, we define displacements of the die. We pick the reference point of the die. The reference point is fixed in the first direction and has no rotation and we apply movement to the die in the second direction. We should create an amplitude for die movement. We define a smooth amplitude and the amplitude is 0 at the beginning of the step and is 1 at the end of the step. This amplitude will be multiplied by the load magnitude. Usually before hot forging process, the billet is heated by a furnace. We should define initial temperature of the billet here. We use predefined field and temperature and then pick the billet and enter the magnitude of its temperature at the beginning of the process. We also define the initial temperature of the die. The die also could be preheated or its temperature can increase during hot forging of several workpieces. So we enter the approximate temperature of the die here. Please notice that in our previous video, we have defined absolute zero temperature. In mesh module, at first, we choose quadrilateral and structured mesh, and then we seat the part. As the part experiences severe plastic deformation, a fine mesh is required here. Then we assign element type, which should be coupled temperature displacements. We also choose linear elements because quadratic elements have problem with contact, and also linear elements are less sensitive to distortion. Now we can mesh the part, and then we can go to the job module and create a job. and submit the job. In visualization module, we can see that the problem has been solved without high level of mesh distortion. In fact, ALE remeshing controlled the mesh distortion during the forming of the material. We also could plot nodal temperature or equivalent plastic strain of the elements. Finally, we sweep the elements around the axis of symmetry and show the real process. We should also mirror this part with relative to XZ plane. And in fact, we have modeled this part in this video. Thank you guys for watching this video. If this video has helped you out, Please let us know by a like, a comment or a subscribe. See you in next videos.